Okay. Ready? <laughs> 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 hey, hi, hello. Welcome back to another video. You're pretty. You're pretty. Today's video is going to be all about this one right here. For those of you who don't know, this is my husband, Emilio. We've been together for forever. So I asked questions on Instagram and then I looked up a few questions as well. Um, for, what? For a husband tag. So that's what we're going to do today. Okay, so here's the first question. How and where did we meet? You have oh, to, I'm answering. Yeah, you answer okay. all these. How and I where I mean, did I'll we answer meet? some too, but yeah. How and where did we meet? So we met in seventh grade at school. The first time we met, we really didn't talk, but we were playing basketball with each other in gym class. I was playing against her. I think I was guarding her. Um, and it was like five minutes. But then uh, maybe like two days after that, we went on a field trip to Columbus and she sat right in front of me. And my homeboy Dylan got her number and I just swiped that number from the air. Um, and then I was just texting her We're like 12 her years old, mind you. Yeah, I was legit texting her all day the whole weekend. It was a Friday, uh, Friday field trip. And then started going out like the week after that. And it's a wrap. That was seventh grade though, yeah. 2008. Where was our first date? We had the field trip date on Friday. We started going that out Wednesday. Date, well, that wasn't a date. So yeah. that's when we started talking. We started going out on Wednesday the following week and then we had the school dance on Friday that has to count as a first date. yeah our seventh grade dance was the first date I we guess. didn't dance at all though yeah we, didn't we just watched other people try to dance <laughs> how long have we been together relationship and marriage so 11 years relationship one year marriage it's gonna be 12 years yeah, we got married in 2018 and we got together in 2008. My timing was crazy. I proposed to her on our ninth anniversary. No. And then we got married oh, on the yeah. 10th anniversary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was good. Yeah. Yeah. I know more. What was your first impression of me? Really? <laughs> your impression of me was damn when I was 12 years old. Mind you, we didn't even do like. We were going out. I think the first time we held hands was like two months after we started dating, and then we kissed like like two weeks. We kissed like five months after we were like together. No, -uh. it wasn't five months. Yeah, huh? Because it was. Mira, it was still cold outside. It was. Yeah, but it was like around like April. It was like two months. No, it wasn't. Okay, so October. So we were outside in December for recess. They take you out every every day. No, no we were. This, this, this was like the springtime when we kissed. You don't remember? I think it was like the springtime. You don't remember the exact month either. How has our relationship changed since marriage? We really didn't get a chance to feel what it was like to be married. We, one step after another. We got married, and then, pregnant. <laughs> this one came. So I'm trying to figure out how to be a husband and a dad at the same time so I feel yeah like our relationship has gotten stronger it has got str it's become more of a partnership it used to be more of like a so it used to be like me just trying to like you know impress her and and but now i, I hook line and sinker i don't even gotta do anything <laughs> whatever you know? i think that we our relationship has gotten like more stronger and i would say like our arguments aren't like really as bad as they were like before we got married we would argue over like an, any little tiny thing and like just get like really mad at each other and now it's just kind of like yeah. toned down i guess i think we just grew up too like we got together when we were 12 so we just learned to let it go yeah like mad over dumb shit yeah that's true true truth why did you fall in love with me and when did you realize i was the one I think I, I realized you were the one like right when we started talking on the bus. You you took a extreme interest in me and you made me feel like alive. So I, ever since I was 12 and you oh. told me that you were falling in love with me first and I was like, shit, am I in love? I don't even know what that means. Uh, but I had to be, yeah. I had to be in love. Okay, so the next question is places we want to travel. Everywhere. Yeah. Marissa really wants to go to Thailand to go find her great-grandpa. I want to go to Thailand too. Who doesn't want to go to Thailand? 
Um, we've, we've traveled kind of a lot before Vera. We went like on a cruise. We went on a, a trip to Puerto Rico, Miami. Um, I want to, I want to travel like all 50 states. Like I want to go west, see the Grand Canyon, go to California. But yeah, just everywhere. Yeah, I agree. Everywhere. I would say the next place I wouldn't mind going is like, we'll probably on another cruise to go back to Mexico, Jamaica. Yeah. Yeah, because we didn't get to enjoy Jamaica. We went to Jamaica on a cruise, and it was raining the whole time. So we got drunk in like two hours and just blacked out. Yeah, that's true. So I don't remember. I would like to go back to Jamaica and actually see it without it being yeah. all rainy and right. blacking out drunk. So She's the one who blacked out drunk. Yeah. that was Had to me. carry her to the ship. No, I walked on. I you don't, you don't remember walking on. Do you I, honestly remember walking on? Do you walking remember on? walking on? I remember on? carrying your ass on. You did not carry me. I what? I, I did walk on to the ship, but I don't remember. I just remember us waking up at like 3 or 4 We got to Jamaica PM. at 8. We got to Jamaica at 8 in the morning. They gave us 8 hours to be there. So we had to get back on the ship by 4 o'clock. But we got back at We got like back noon. on that bitch at 12. Yeah. And we and then, slept until 8. No, we woke, woke up, up like with four. a hangover. Was no, it like eight? legit. We slept from like twelve to eight. Yeah, woke up with the same true. day hangover. It's terrible. Oh, that was the wor one of the worst hangovers I've ever had in my entire life. That was so bad, but it was fun and memories. You it know, was cool. yeah. It was cool. Okay, what is my favorite and least favorite food? Your favorite food? Um, <coughs> shit, you have a lot. Right now, you really love salmon a lot. Least <laughs> your least favorite food? Yeah. You talking about fucking pot pies? Oh yeah, that's something I would. Okay, I'm gonna. We got pot pies. She don't like no chicken pepper crash. Pepper crash. Pepper crash. I had in mind an eggplant. I would never eat oh, eggplant. Oh hell no. Nah. Yeah, I had eggplant. I think once in my life, and I did not enjoy it. So. I looked at eggplant once, and I said no. Emilio's favorite food is chicken. Who eat anything that has to do with chicken? His favorite food is everything. You supposed to answer these questions too? No, I'm just saying. Like, I'm just answering it just because. Next question is, what do we argue about the most? Food. Yes. <laughs> food. Yeah, food for sure. Because oh my of gosh. this one. No, I I will ask Marissa. What do you want to eat? What do girls say when you say what do you want to eat? I don't care, babe. You choose. Taco you don't Bell. ever choose though. Taco Bell. Nah. Eh. Wendy's. Taco Bell's bad. Uh, Burger King, mm, why do you say I can choose then? I give up. We're going to get Cane's because I know she doesn't like Cane's. And then she's like, oh, babe, seriously? It's true. You can't win. Yeah, I would say we argue the most about food. I'm mad right now. Just thinking, I'm, I'm mad. We got next question. We've gotten into some pretty heated arguments over food. I feel like that's all we ever argue about. Our biggest argument as of recently was because we couldn't decide where we wanted to eat. But like, sleep on the couch type of argument. You never slept on the couch. Well. For like five minutes. Yeah. Okay, next question is pet peeves. Your pet peeves? Of me? Yeah. Or just or in general? Just in ge or your pet peeves of me? Um, your pet peeves are when I open a whole bunch of water bottles, but I don't finish them, and I just leave them hanging around the house. True. She says I do that, but I don't do it. Yeah, he does. I don't think I do that. He does, though. So. Probably don't do that. Does it all the time. Mm, don't think so. At least, like, three times in a day. Yeah, absolutely not. Mm, yeah, for sure. Not me. It's you. Mm. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> it's not me. My pet peeve of you? <laughs> yeah. Every time she takes a shower, she leaves all of her clothes in the bathroom. I she just leaves them there. I put my clothes up. Now Mira, I have. Mira, it's a mountain that you have no, to No, I've picked my clothes over. up now. I started to. As of when? Tomorrow? As a, no, the last time you said something. I'm mad right now. And and the food thing. That's a pet peeve. I can use that too. How Literally. has our relationship lasted this long? Just learning not to get mad over stupid shit. Yeah. I would say communication. A lot of people that get into relationships, they don't actually take the time to learn about the other person or they try to have to find a way to make the other person happy. But you need to find a way to make yourself happy first. And so does the other person. And then you're both happy together. Boom. That's happiness. Stop focusing on trying to change the other person. Just change your damn self. Dang. I would say communication for sure. Um, being understanding. If we have like a disagreement or something, then like we talk about it yeah. normally. 
but let the other person breathe and live, but inspire them to help them to breathe and live. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think just like supporting one another, no matter what, like I've had a million different career ideas. So has Emilio, like he started in pre-med and then did a complete 360 and studied economics. So I think like, just like being there for that, being there for that person, supporting them and any decisions that they have. Um, and yeah, just being there, loving them. And yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, it's more than just a relationship. Like we're, we're complete best friends. Yeah. So, I mean, life is just, every day is fun. It's a, it's a new adventure. So I don't know, we just, and we always keep things alive, you know? Never let every anything get boring or the same old, same old. We always switch things up. Yeah, I think, so. yeah, you for sure need to be with somebody who's also your best friend, who you're not scared to be around. Because um, I could be my complete self around Emilio. Last and final question. How have we grown as individuals while married? I feel like I take life a lot more serious. Now, before we got married, I kind of like beat around the bush a lot. Like what she was saying with, with me changing majors and stuff but ever since we got married i've stuck to my guns like i wanted to get into real estate i got into real estate and uh now i'm finally in my career that i want to be in and i think i'm doing pretty good but i think i i, I just have more purpose now more drive so. yeah less per well i still procrastinate but like i don't know i feel like less procrastination especially now like being a mom like starting my YouTube channel, I've been wanting to do this since we freaking got together in 2008. Yeah. I always wanted to start a YouTube channel. But like for real, like Vera is inspiring us too. Like we want, we want her to know that if you have a dream, that you should chase it, or if you want to do anything in your in your life, you should try it. So, I mean, obviously she doesn't know what we're doing right now, but it's all for a reason. <gasps> Hi. 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 This one right here for sure has helped me grow and i know trip. definitely has helped emilio grow in so many so many ways so not just being married but also having a little one here. all right guys so that is it is for it? yeah that's it oh. that was the last and final question i ask you questions no oh. vera is uh, vera is over it are you over it are you over your video are you ready for bad munchkin my twin that's my twin comment down below who do you think she looks more like don't forget to like this video subscribe if you haven't already and push that bell button so you get notified every time we post a video <laughs> like i said thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye guys hey hello <laughs>